Greetings, YouTube. We have two pieces of good news to report and one piece of disappointing news. So let's get the bad news out of the way first. For those of you that contacted me saying, Prof, just let me know when the Level Up event is coming back. Surely it will be here soon. That is appearing to not be the case. We'll discuss the specifics behind it in a second. But chances are we're going to have to go through the rest of today's Arena Wins, then Event Quest Completion, then Hero Use, then Level Up. So you might as well level up those champs if you need them now. Uh, I'd still save if you can and you don't need them some of those rank up materials if you are limited to the level up event just to get the 25 units, the revive potions, etc. as what I consider to be cash back. But uh, yeah, Kabam confirmed that uh, it's not going to be back. I wish you'd think, and maybe their, their server just isn't built for it, but you'd think they could run two different 22 hour events at once. To just catch up like if they could do arena wins and level up right now i think everybody would be happy but it just sounds like they can't uh i was discussing in an earlier video today how it was strange that we didn't have any compensation yesterday but that did come today on a thursday you can see this continued game issues or gameplay issues uh in game inbox message and then it is the combination that we've seen for a couple weeks now of the Alliance Quest and Alliance War revives, team revives, loyalty, boosts, and a couple of map 5, map 6, and map 7 crystals. I caution you, for those of you like me, who most of these just go into your overflow, wait to claim them. I am not claiming mine for several days, as I know that they go straight into the overflow. You know what's kind of fun, though, is that I've been a little reckless in Alliance Quest lately, and I'll jump into linked nodes or you know the boss if there's still a couple linked nodes, just because I know I've got revives. So instead of just getting a small amount of gold for them or letting them expire, I might as well use them by knowing that I'm going to get knocked out, but still, I don't know, taking down a mini boss or trying to you know help out. So that's kind of my uh, philosophy on it. If you know they're going to expire, you might as well go kamikaze into a mini boss or a final boss uh but uh in terms of the bigger question of why the level up event was missed and then is not going to return until its next cycle first off kabam boo made a pretty accurate statement last night in uh their response to the issue and by accurate i mean everything about it was not true <laughs> uh they said that it was working as intended essentially that it was basically not broken well, now we have this green message. Summoners, we recently hit a snag with our solo events, and we apologize for the confusion. The 22-hour solo event that was generated yesterday, October 6th, was broken. Now, I don't know about you, but there was no 22-hour event generated yesterday, so I don't exactly understand what that even means. The team was able to fix the issue that caused the broken event, but it was found that the safest option, because of course, if you do really well in the level up event, you're going to break the game, was to remove the event entirely in order to avoid further interruptions to the rest of the game, and so that a fixed version of the event could be generated. Well, spoiler alert, a fixed version of the event was never generated, and we just went about a day without a single 22-hour event. Now, the fear was that this would be somehow new, uh, the, new, the new normal, because Kabam Boo was saying that it was working correctly, and so then we assumed that, without even telling us, that there were going to be several hours, even like half a day between 22-hour events, Thankfully, that appears to be a false alarm, but of course, that just means that level up was never completed. They should give everybody the uh, max rewards, depending on your progression level, for that 22-hour event. Just do it. Just assume everybody would have gotten it accomplished. And that'll go a big ways to earning back some uh, frustration due to this. Uh, due to the way solo events are generated, we are not able to force a new level up event to appear immediately without risking further knock on effects to the system. Knock on effects sounds like a reason you have to go to the hospital and college. Events should be generated normally again going forward, so please keep an eye out for it in the near future. And by near future, they also mean like three to four days. We apologize again for the confusion and thank you for your patience and understanding in this matter. So the good news is it was broken. It apparently has been fixed. And we don't have to wait 12 hours going forward in between 22-hour events. And we got some compensation for Alliance Quest and Alliance War. The bad news is what these they said last night in a statement was 
basically a lie and they just didn't realize that and maybe they didn't even remember saying it until today. Kabam needs to continue to do better about being transparent and being consistent with their messaging. That includes also trying to silence summoners on their forums when they don't like what they're saying. Uh, but at least we have some good news going forward. I'm just sorry to every one of you who thought for sure that the level of event would be close to being here. Looks like it's going to be another several days before it comes back.